What's up, everybody? Celtic Scarecrow here, back for the sixth time, trying to make a video for those tens and twenty views. Uh, bad video of like the oh my OMG NFL draft moments, but they don't explain why they're OMG a moment or why they put them in the order and kept throwing honorable mentions up there. Why is World put out a video? I realized it just came out. Don't want to do that. Kept trying to get the um, perfect cell versus people thing going on, but they have like a weird playlist. So either A, I'm going to have to record them and then fake react to them or try that again later because I'm being angry. So today, we, I'm going to react to Honest Game Trailers, Helldivers 2, and then a for a few, and then we're going to do a few of the Helldivers 2 Top 200 uh, uh, Funniest Moments. But a little fusion of those two. Both links are, of course, in the description. That is not the page. So let's get to it. I pause a lot. Warning. Also, I really like Helldivers, but I need more consistent friends to play it because it is a game that is better with people. In a world where competition is commonplace, experience a game that brings players back to traditional values. Slightly, you know, you still have to be online and have people to play with. As we throw all toxicity aside, joining hands to show the might of humanity by trauma bonding over wholesale bug and robot slaughter. Okay, almost all toxicity. Hell, uh, Hell divers too. I love how the, uh, Game developers are just saying, like, uh, no, there's nothing outside of the, what's in the game. We're not adding real world politics to it. Nope. Left, right, center. Nope. Not, not coming in. Get ready to lay down your many expendable lives in Helldivers 2, the much anticipated sequel of the top down bug blast and co op, as its successor throws you right into the battlefield again. To be perfectly honest, I didn't know there was a Helldivers 1. I just thought it was a really hilarious game title. Be like, Helldivers 2. Like, is there a Helldivers 1? Make people go searching for a game and then, like, two, three years down the line, then put out Helldivers 1? Be hilarious. But this time gives you front row seats to watching yourself get most to a slurry in an experience that lets you live out your late 90s dream of recreating Starship Troopers, but with way more explosives and caves. Look, if you're going to get turned into a cold-cut trio, might as well leave a good-looking corpse. True. I The only issue I have with that is outside of well, your um, chunks of one. body armor, everything else is purely cosmetic. Your helmet, your cape, it's just purely cosmetic. Anyway. Come on, you if you want to live forever! Gear up to bring glorious victory for the utopia that is Super Earth. Super Earth. That is their salute... I'm not doing anything wrong. As humanity has achieved the pinnacle of society, where we reach out and grab our destiny within the farthest reaches of the stars, okay. where we reach out... I use the one on the guy's right uh, helmet. That's the helmet I use. ...out and grab our destiny within the farthest reaches of the stars that just happens to be largely inhabited by everything dead set on trying to decimate you. At it may or may not be our fault to either try to decimate us just... As you liberate the savage planets in the name of democracy from big bugs and killer robots. Which is totally great because that means there's no moral gray area that usually comes with this sort of thing. Then be... <laughs> For your wrong, good sir, uh, we farmed the bugs for oil and the robots have said they will stop fighting us if we just gave them back their homeworld, so... Moral Grayer. Jettison to the front lines as you join your brothers in arms. Or sisters, there are female voices. Colonizing planet after planet and bringing forth sweet, sweet liberation to the fringes of the galaxy. Assuming the Shadow DM doesn't just decide to throw a bunch of giant bugs at you because you're liberating too fast. In a story. Oh yeah, that's pretty much what I've heard is pretty much this is giant D, uh, Dungeons and Dragons space game when there's one guy, Joel, Who's like, yeah, let's crank up the difficulty. That tells you all you really need to know. Big boom good. Democracy better. Okay, you had me at boom. 
get ready to defend the home of the free by throwing yourself in the meat grinder that is Hell Divers gameplay. As you go through a tutorial that's about as short as police training to learn how to shoot bugs and crawl floor, then be you know time I died a few times because I told you to dive, so I dove, and then I just came like uh, clay clay pigeon or whatever those things are ski shooters. Come immediately enlisted and thrown into your own starship, where you'll join your other meat companions to be dropped into whatever desolate area you choose. Then take the brief moment of not being absolutely swarmed by bugs to call down your loadout and then reload. My current loadout, I actually don't call down a major weapon. I just have all like three um, ter like auto turrets and the orbital strike is my current loadout. Guys, this will be the last moment of peace you have for a while as you run around plugging bug holes, decimating strongholds and finding secret goodies to spend on getting bigger and better ordinances until you notice that you're running out of time for your objective and rush over to finish whatever you have left. Then blast away like you're giving out free bullets as you're bombarded. The super definitely isn't communist because they run out of bullets way too fast. By wave after wave of enemies like you're being zerg rushed by Koreans <laughs> where you'll do your best to keep your reticle aimed at any soft bits while doing the worm all over the field until it gets really hectic and you fumble around with a DDR strategy minigame then scurry around to find a place to throw your reinforcements right before you get murked yourself by literally who knows what also uh, as you're coming down the pod you can aim it at people not greatly but you can try to take things out with it until you finally call for an evac and hopefully receive glorious victory Look at that, level 50, level 9, level 50, level 10. So you know those two guys were carried. Or on a really bad run, pointless sacrifice. Then repeat this hellish non-stop cycle of battle and death. Also, you can get yourself some shiny duds and fancy new capes. I mean, what else is there to fight for? Cool thing about this game is you can pay to get this screen that's showing up right now. And you can pay for that stuff. But it doesn't really do really anything. Did Florida just score? No. Okay. Uh, yeah. So pay to play is an option, but you don't need it. All right, the human species. In some of the best third person shooting you've ever played, that perfectly captures how absolutely manic a real war zone would probably be. You know, if you fought against giant bugs and bargain bin terminators. I'm sure. Legally licensed terminators, sir. They're legally licensed, not bargain bin there's a deeper meaning about the pointlessness of never ending war or something but i'm just having the time of my life like no the bugs are full of oil that we were farming and the robots want their homeworld back i'm throwing all these bugs it's rain mother <laughs> so iron that cape and brew yourself a piping hot cup of liberty with a space co-op like no other that will make you believe that even on the internet there might still be some semblance of camaraderie left. Ah, <sighs> basking in the light of a big ol' explosion always brings people together. Starring. How to do your part in becoming the best citizen you can be. Always salute your fellow Helldivers. It's the democratic way. Watch out for friendly fire, and if not... Oh yeah, friendly fire is 1000% real. Uh, me and my friends, that's half our deaths. More than... It's just collateral damage. No hard feelings. Provide a helpful stem to your fellow Helldivers that are looking a little poorly. It might just be the pet they need to... Oh, and they're dead. It's okay to run when things are getting hairy. Think of it as a strategic retreat, even if people will call you a coward. It's okay to accidentally blow up your companions. Just make sure you apologize afterwards. It's just good manners. I'm sorry. Don't be greedy and take more supplies than you need. Super Earth has more than enough to spare. After the... Because it's not a communist country. The cooldown timer, that is. If you're getting dropped, try to aim your pot at the biggest baddie you see. It's the best way to contribute to the war effort. Watch out for the evac that they explicitly tell you to watch out for. Though we all have our... Bl wait, wait, you can die with that? Oh, God. Fine spot. We try to blow it up. Always cover for your fellow soldiers during evac. Just don't accidentally kill them in the process. Don't throw your reinforce... I'm pretty sure that guy got, like, a bounty put on his head. Like, I know there's a story of a guy who, like, personally targeted people as they're evacuating out to get all the uh, things, and they didn't, and, 
Yeah, it didn't end well for me. ...in an area full of enemies because they will immediately get eviscerated and all lives are precious. Kind of. Killing bugs and robots is fun, but also, don't forget the f***ing objective. Make sure that you salute the big missile at launch. It's a glorious monument to freedom and also its subsequent freedom explosion. And always, always give your fellow Helldivers a hug. They're gonna need it. Starship Troopers, Band of Brothers. Oh God, there's more. I hope that the next race to conquer, uh, liberate, won't make me feel bad doing it like for the bugs and robots. As much as I want an Avatar slash Helldivers collab, it probably won't be the guiltless fun I'm having now. Although I wouldn't feel bad if it was a whole planet full of Teletubbies. If I know anything about Teletubbies, they hate democracy. And also, they majorly creep me out. Ugh, just look at their soulless eyes. Comment below on what... Uh, this is him going to be reading off some comments, which I don't think he's adding in. All right. How long is this video? Ten minutes? All right. Let's do uh, a few... Uh... What you want to hear in my... No. Not you. Uh, you very are a fighter. And this... But yeah, that is Helldivers in a nutshell. It's... I can't wait for the war to be over. These are uh, held our top 20 moments. I think we just do like a few minutes, a few of these. You have someone special at home? Oh, come on. I gotta say, if no one has recreated the Why Are We Here bit from Red vs. Blue, I'm disappointed. Yeah. Your mother. Okay, bro. <laughs> you other <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Who hurt this bot? Yeah, yeah, there's a few moments where you like see if you can test how close you can land something on your friend. Two hours later. Stay down. When the fate of your level seven mission is in the hands of your level one friend. <laughs> it's all up to you, mate. He has to survive for a minute forty-seven. That's all you gotta do is survive. For... We believe in you. Oh, never mind. Thirty-seven seconds left in the game. Get the evac. Stay alive for a minute and forty-two seconds. That's crazy. <laughs> that's that's when you get fired. You get, you're, just, you're just kicked off the team. You're no longer part of the mission. <laughs> I love that his legs are just vertical. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> So funny, but such a Proof waste that of the time. power of friendship is stronger than any stratagem. We need to die while playing rock, paper, scissors, bro. No, while hugging, while hugging, hug me. <laughs> Wait, Wait, what? Wait, you survived? The power of f friendship and love is strong. What? The power of friendship. Time for a brief lesson on your lefts and rights. Oh, here it is. Right leg, left leg, shoot left leg. Wait, that's the right leg, right? Nope, that's left. Oh. What do you mean left leg? It's the left right leg. leg, buddy. Look at his left leg. No, that is right leg. No, it's not. That's your right, you fucking idiot. That's his left oh. leg. <laughs> no, but this is our right. Yeah, I said shoot his left leg. But all right, why don't you just say shoot the right leg? Because I know my left and right so I have to think about it, you That's fucking idiot. confusing. Why would I want to know from his point of view? What the f*** is going on there? Can you see that? Is that just me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at times you do get these weird glitches. <laughs> why is that? <laughs> There's a well-known saying about f***ing around. I'm the smartest man alive. Reloading! 
Tank. Ah! A4! A4! <laughs> Wake up! Your uh, letters and numbers is the first letter of your gamer tag plus whatever position you are in to load into the game. Wake up, A4! <laughs> you robot mother <laughs> Momin! Get down! Hang on! Ah! 500 pounder going in on that SOB! Back up from it, A4! They got me surrounded! Ah! They got me f surrounded! We're moving, let's go! Now we do one more clip. Ah! See, what's missing from this clip, oh, Florida actually did just score, is if over here on the right, they had like the face go along with these voices. <laughs> yep. You tell Tina! You tell Tina! You have grenades, good sir. Why weren't you using them? Tina yourself! Redeity really thought he was him for a second. That's where we'll end this video. Uh, Hell Divers is an amazing, fun game. Extra fun if you have stupid friends. <sighs> That's it. That's all I have. I will see you people hopefully tonight over on Kick or Twitch where I'll actually finally be playing CFPs. But have a nice day. Later.